Hey, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we'll be doing some transformational geometry. That's a lot of fun. We're going to be translating and reflecting shapes, and this is probably not a new topic. Uh, growing up, you probably learned the words uh, slides and flips. Um, just the, I guess, the, the more big boy and big girl words are saying translating and reflecting. Um, so let's get into, I have two kind of mini lessons here. We'll get into translations on this side first, all right? So uh, I'll read, let's read the instructions and we'll go from there. So the instructions are to translate the figure three units right and five units down. So we need to translate the square three units right and five units down. So here's where I want you to start. Number one, uh, choose one point to start at. I'm a creature of habit. Uh, my students know it. Uh, I like to always get into a routine of things. So uh, I always like to start at the bottom left. I'm going to choose a point on the bottom left if I can. If I can't, I mean, that's no big deal. I'll look somewhere else. But if I can, I'll try to choose a bottom left point. You don't have to. You can choose any other point. Um, again, I just like doing it because that's my habit. I'm going to translate or slide by counting the units from the start point. So I have to translate it three units right and five units down. So let's count. Be careful you don't count this as one, okay? You can't go one, two, three. You have to start here and count three right from it. So one, two, three units right, and now five units down. One, two, three, four, five. So let's do it again. So one, two, three, and now five down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and now I'm going to place my point there. I'm going to move on to this point, okay? So I'm going to choose another point to start at and repeat until finish. So I'm just going to move on to this one. Don't count it, so move, count the next one. One, two, three, five down. One, two, three, four, five, okay? I'm going to do it for all my points. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And finally this point. One, sorry, I made a mistake there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and if I had a ruler, I could connect it. I'm going to try to do my best to reenact a ruler on this. And what you should notice is that uh, your new, and we call this the image, your new image should be congruent or the same size and same shape as the original shape. So somehow in this process it shouldn't have shrunk or got bigger or changed into a different shape. It should be the exact same shape sliding it and moving it over, which it is. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's a translation. Moving on to reflection, you have to kind of pretend that uh, this is the figure and it's like looking in a mirror. So the reflection line, which is the screen line that you're going to reflect it on, is like a mirror. So that this shape will reflect over to this side and it has to be the same distance away. For example, if you look in a mirror and you're standing kind of far away from it, you're not going to be really close to it all of a sudden in the reflection back. Okay, It's going to be the same distance away in the reflection as well. So step one is we're going to choose a point to start out again. Okay, So we have to reflect the figure across the reflection line. Again, I like to start at the bottom left. Okay, And I'm going to choose a point. I'm going to count the units to the reflection line. So here we go. Don't count this one, count from here. So one, two, three, four. It took me four to get there. Now from the reflection line, count the same number of units away from and place the point. So I counted one, two, three, four. Now I have to count again, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to place it there. Now I go to this one. One, two, one, two. Now I go to this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. There's our three points. Uh, if I had a ruler, again, I would try to use it using this pad. And I'm going to connect the dots. And there is my triangle. Again, this image needs to, um, this needs to be congruent. Again, I can't, if I have a different shape triangle or if I have a square or a rectangle somehow, Obviously, I know I didn't do this properly, but that's all you have to do is you just have to count the amount of units away from the reflection line and then keep on counting the same amount and place your point there. So there you go. We have our translation and reflecting. Hope you had fun.